the hell is going on? What the hell is going on? I thought I thought Jen stopped this Marth stuff like like after like week two of Ultimate. I, I never thought I would see this again. And Zero to None is always drunk, so I, I'm not surprised he's doing this right now. I'm more disappointed in Jen going back to this Marth after like literally week three of Ultimate. He was playing Marth, and he decided not to do that to himself anymore. But um, nonetheless, we got Greninja and Marth. You know, we, we do see a version of his matchup. We do see Mr. E and um, Benio very frequently. So. Let's see how this goes. Um, and right now, um, seems like, seems a little bit choppy, but Jen has been taking advantage of Zero and then kind of jumping in on him. He's been throwing out a lot of pretty good anti-air options, a lot of forward tilts, a lot of jabs. And he's been keeping, be keeping him up pretty well with the forward air, but Zero and then finding his way in with an air, getting a good 50% off that, good 30%. Ooh, yeah. Okay, that was weird. Um, yeah, Jen just did it in tech, and Zero Nun just started starting an up smash. That was pretty funny. Uh, so Zero Nun with a pretty good lead right now. It looked like they're, you know, I'm not gonna lie, they both look pretty uncomfortable with the, with their respective characters. But that was a good edge guard attempt by uh, Jen. Didn't get the spike hitbox though. Pretty small hitbox. So I'm not surprised. And right now, about this time, Jen is going to start looking for the forward tilt. You know, Mark does have some problems with his tippers, but forward tilt seems to be the more consistent one for whatever reason. Yeah, and right now, Zero None is just kind of all over Jen. Not really letting Jen set up, not really giving Jen any space to set up something like a forward, forward tilt. And he gets that down there. Good anticipation by Jen. Ooh, he's trying to punish that forward air. To grab? You know that's safe, my guy. Yeah, yeah, good reaction by Zero. Oh, Zero tried to read that with a forward smash, but general and whip, but good, good effort by Zero. Okay. Wow. Okay, and <laughs> Jen caught one jump and got 40% off of the interaction. So that was good stuff by Jen. Yeah, and you see Zero Nun playing a very grounded approach, but Jen getting three tippers in a row. It's like almost hitting the jackpot. Oh wow, that oh you died. Yeah, and Grenada's um counter staying out a little bit longer than Jen expected. So that was pretty cool, actually down airing the the puppet. But reading that spot is with an up the other shield. Go anticipation by Jen. Ooh, and that crossed up on Chill 2. Oh, man. Zero Nun didn't punish that cross up. Okay. Yeah. And, Zer and you know, Jen picking up on some of uh, Zero Nun's defensive habits, picking up some of these spot dodges that he's throwing out. Seems like he's almost throwing out a spot dodge after every aerial, because he's not really sure about the spacing. And, yeah, and right now you have... Yep, Jen with the side advantage, and he's yeah, and all these neutral strategies, he's really taking advantage of Zero Nun, you know, spot dodging him after every one of his attacks. And now he's reading his approach options a little bit linear on Zero Nun's part. Ooh, yeah. Okay, Jen has no jump. Ooh, okay, not not able to get any jabs off of that. Okay. Now, now we're gonna see how Jen kind of seals off this this kill, because Marth kind of does struggle because his tipper hitboxes are a little bit inconsistent, whereas Greninja can kind of just down tilt you or down, down throw you into 50/50s and confirms. Yeah. But with that being said, Jen fishing for that forward tilt, which is gonna be Marth's main kill option, it seems, and uh, takes that stop. This is honestly. This is honestly one of some of the worst things I've ever seen in my life. I don't know why they're doing this, Devin. You should actually ban them from the stream setup for the rest of the tournament. Press one if you want this conversation they're having. 
press 1 if you want ZTN to get banned. And press 2 if you want Jen to get banned. And press 3 if both of them should be banned for the rest of the month. And, okay, and we're gonna and we're do, they're doing the same thing again. We're gonna go back to PS2, and um, I'll be honest with you. In the beginning, uh, beginning of game one, it seemed like it was it was in gem control, but Jaren got a lot of momentum off of the um, the earlier kills that he was getting. He was getting a lot of earlier stocks. Jen didn't really seem like he knew how to take stocks, besides like, you know from edge guarding and punching ZTN's options. So maybe uh, ZTN can clean that up a little bit going into game two. And I think that was probably the first air to air I've seen ZTN throw out against Jen, because out of all the other attempts, he didn't really try to air to air metal. I mean, which is, you know, you don't you want to kind of stay grounded against Lucina and Mark, but you still need to take some chances, like right there. Okay, now he has no jump. We we'll try to punish that with a down smash. Okay. Yeah, and. You know, Alan just landing on a shield with a down air. ZTN hasn't really punched yet, and there's the down tilt no smash. Kinda how kinda how we started this game one. Pretty big lead. Um Greninja with the easier confirms. We'll see if he could actually keep this lead now, because right now Jin is picking up a lot of steam. That down smash not hitting like he wanted to. A little bit late on that punish. Ooh, and Jen reaching for that, and ZTN not really getting a lot off of it. Yeah, the hydro pump putting Jen in the air. Yeah, and Jen looked looked like he was trying to go for a spot dodge punish with that um charging in the neutral boost. But that time Z10 actually didn't give it to him. Okay. Yeah, and good down smash coming out from Allen. Just reading his landing, scouting his landing, getting the down tilt. And that's another move that seems like it um, hits pretty well tipper-wise. So, keep that in mind as a second game. Yeah, good pace is coming out from Jen. Ooh, okay, and Relico stays, stays positioning. Down to the last one, not going to kill at that percent, though. Yeah, Scott got that spot dodge once again. Yeah, down to up smash. Pretty consistent confirm. Um, I have to say, those uh, ZTN hasn't really been punishing, punishing those down airs out of shield almost at all. Um, and Jen's kind of been getting away from it. Getting away, you know, kind of exclusively with it, so. So you punish that. Yeah, and that's it. That's a confirm, man. Uh, down air to forward smash. I don't even know why I'm seeing this right now. Team, maybe throw, throwing out some shurikens. Okay. First down air punish of the game. Okay, good stuff on ZTN. Yeah, right now ZTN has the lead. He's throwing out a little bit more shurikens than he has pretty much the whole set. And once again, letting Jen land on him um, for free of the down air. I know on shield it's not the easiest pun uh, punish to get, but um, just anticipation, not even going for a parry. And ZTN is pressuring the ledge. And I like what ZTN tried to do there. Um, after uh, Jen down air to chill, he tried to read his next option after that, but didn't get the punish, but you know, was the right idea. Okay, oh, didn't get that dash forward. Okay, now. Let's see what Jen does, throwing him back to the, the side of the stage. Can't keep, can't keep ZTN there, though. And ZTN trying to read that jump. Oh, he has no jump now. Oh, and you died for that? And you died for that? <laughs> you didn't see that? No, you didn't see that? You saw how I jumped in there, but this shit was. That shit, that shit didn't hit me, bro. What? I love this. Yo, Z, the, I'm not gonna lie, bro. That just shows that just shows that Zelda players have no neutral. Because he definitely just died both he definitely lost both games by expending his jumps for no reason and getting swiped out the air by a sword character. 